Mobile devices seem to be permanently glued to our hands. We can hardly go an hour without checking tweets, posting on Instagram, liking on Facebook, watching YouTube, or even swiping on Tinder. And yes, all that will take a toll on your battery. So it's a good thing that mobile devices these days are starting to include quick charge technology. Alright, so what exactly is quick charge? In layman's terms, it's a means of charging your mobile device faster. But more scientifically, it's smart battery management technology. It identifies the exact power needed and operates at the most efficient charging point. Now when I said mobile devices, I meant only some mobile devices. Specifically mobile devices that come with a Qualcomm Snapdragon processor. But that list of devices is quickly growing. First, here's a brief history of quick charge. Quick charge 1.0 was introduced in 2012. At that time, quick charge meant being able to charge 40% faster than other phones. You could only find the technology on devices such as the Nexus 4, Samsung Galaxy S3, and the Nokia Lumia 920. Then, a year later, Qualcomm unveiled Quick Charge 2.0. This time, it would be powered by Snapdragon 800 processors. 2.0 enabled 75% faster charging versus devices without the technology. Finally, last year, Qualcomm announced Quick Charge 3.0. With 3.0, you could charge twice as fast as version 1.0, and the efficiency was improved 38% compared to 2.0. So what kind of accessories are out there? Well, we have some here today. It's mostly just wall chargers and car chargers, but there are also some Quick Charge power banks as well. There are also different classifications for accessories, class A and class B. Both A and B adapters are rated for 5, 9, and 12 volts, but class B adapters are rated for up to 20 volts. This is for the more power hungry devices like notebooks. But thanks to Quick Charge being engineered to deliver only what type of power is needed, class B adapters are safe to use with smartphones as well. What kind of connectors are compatible? Quick Charge is meant to be connector independent, so Type A, Micro USB, Type C, and other proprietary cables can be implemented with Quick Charge. Jack, you mentioned Type C connectors. Will charging with a USB 3.0 adapter be just as fast as Quick Charge? Great question. Short answer, no. While USB 3.0 is meant to have faster data transfer speeds, the max electrical output will not be able to charge a device faster than with a quick charge charger. Now, of course, some of you are thinking, will quick charge cause any issues with my device's battery, like heat issues? No. Qualcomm has put in a lot of time and research into voltage limiting, current limiting, and temperature protection to ensure healthy battery life cycles. And as a small note, Qualcomm Quick Charge is different from Samsung's own fast charge technology. So that's it, a quick look at what is Quick Charge. If you're interested in getting a charger for yourself, NCIX does carry Quick Charge accessories. You can check the description below for a link for those items. But Thank you so much for watching. Click over here for previous videos. Check us out on Twitter right over here. But as always, don't forget to like the video, comment down below for fans with benefits, and subscribe for more like this from NCIX. We'll see you later. I need to recharge my phone. <laughs>